Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Molly. And, and we're, we're the, the Flying, Flying Hens. Hens. Welcome to episode 10 of the Hen House Adventures. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you can follow along on our journey as we travel the country in an RV. So we're back on the road and we've done a lot of travel in the last few weeks. We have. Uh, we started on our first stop out of Texas at the River Town Rose RV Park, which is in Mississippi. And uh, it was a great little stop. They have a pool. They mm -hmm. have uh, just a bunch of pull through RV spots, just uh, gravel uh, sites, things like that. But all in all, uh, it was a great spot. It was quiet. Easy in and out. Uh, yep. It was a it was a good spot. We could have stayed there longer as well. I yeah. just don't know what to do in that area, but I'm sure that there's some good spots. Mm -hmm. One of the cool things that we did get to do is uh, we pulled on up and right next to us was a little pop-up camper. Yes, and, so cute. And uh, it was Destination Daydreams. They were on their first night of full-time RV travel. Mm -hmm. They just left Atlanta and uh, was they were heading out west. Uh, they're going to California where they're going to be in their own uh, travel trailer that they have out there already. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the, going to pick it up. Yeah, the pop-up camper was just uh, an in-transit kind of a thing. Uh, Connor and Caitlin are their names. Mm -hmm. Go follow them on YouTube. Go follow them on YouTube and Instagram. Mm -hmm. He makes some really cool videos. Yes. Uh, so, they're very talented. Uh, Destination Daydreams. Okay. Uh, one of the cool things was uh, that we found out when we were talking to him. Connor and his family, so his sister and his parents, were on Shark Tank. Yeah, and how cool. <laughs> Shower Toga. Okay, and it was actually picked up by Mark Cuban. I saw that episode. Yeah. It's so cool. And uh, so it was really cool. He uh, he did give us this. We're going to try it on. Yep. You uh, can go do that. All right. And uh, so it's what it is i guess is a it's a product that allows you to change in public so you put it on and it covers you up mm -hmm. and you can change out of dirty clothes they made it specifically to do like mud runs and things like that uh great for surfing whatever to to just change into clothes afterwards yeah. without needing to find like a public restroom or or something like that yeah so uh, thanks guys cool. for yeah. giving us one thanks a lot. and it was really cool to meet you guys uh fun fun couple those two uh, um, all right, so the next night on our way to Georgia, we stopped at Hoover Met Complex RV Park, and that's in, in Alabama. Um, and it's really a great park if you are traveling with kids. Um, outside Birmingham, I think. Outside Birmingham, yeah. Um, also, Chris called it a glorified parking lot, but uh, they are pull-through spots with full hookups. And the reason that I thought it was great was because it was right next to a huge playground and huge splash pad. So yeah, after a long travel day, different. our kids enjoyed um, all of that kind of fun. So uh, while we were there, though, we happened to meet Nathan and Emily from Four Fits and a Fifth Wheel. They, um, we actually followed each other on Instagram, and they recognized us as we pulled in. Um, and they're it's kind right. of hard not to. Yeah, I know. But um, so it's we went over. All over the we went over to their house and hung out with them. Their kids were already asleep though. So, um, but we had a great conversation with them. They just started full time travel as well. They um, they just renovated their RV and it is beautiful. So go it's check really them on, nice. out on Instagram. Yes. So after that, we headed off to Georgia and we spent 10 days at the Stone Mountain Park Campground, which is a beautiful park, beautiful campground, has all the amenities you could possibly want, lots of activities to do. Um, however, the section that we were put in um, was- A little tight. It was a little bit more rustic. The roads were like narrow and the- uh, well, It was in the lovely. woods. I mean, this is a very kind of wooded RV park. Yes. And uh, right um, along the Stone Mountain Lake. And our and site was like surrounded by trees. Right but in the pine trees. You know what? We parked it. I can't say we. Chris parked it with just one <laughs> one back in, and we impressed neighbors. They thought we were pros. Definitely not. <laughs> Got lucky on that one. Yes. So it's nice when it works out, and you look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. So anyway, we went to Georgia because we have some really big news to share. What so, is our big news? Well. Uh, for those that have already heard it, you already know, but uh, I am going back to flying. What? So I get to go 
back and figure out how to fly an airplane. Mm -hmm. I actually still know, don't worry. Uh, I've already finished up my training, so that's what uh, one of the things we were doing there. Mm -hmm. And while I was doing that, Molly and the kids were enjoying Stone Mountain, uh, like the amusement park there. Yeah, so we got to go to Stone Mountain Park for a, a whole day, mm -hmm. and um, I was actually really impressed with the park. I didn't really know what to expect, but... I didn't expect all this stuff, too. Mm -mm. No. They had so many great, great things and activities for the kids to do. They had an indoor playground, an outdoor climbing structure. They had um, a lot of, like, cool things about dinosaurs and shows that were in the air-conditioned theater. Um, and then, of course, we went on the sky ride to the top of Stone Mountain. Um, so we had just had a really good time that day. And then at nighttime, Chris was able to join us for the laser show. It's a very famous show that they um, kind of display on the side of Stone Mountain. Yeah. There was pyrotechnics. There was um, fireworks. So I think we really enjoyed that. Um, another thing we did just the kids and I was we enjoyed some hiking in Stone Mountain Park there's tons of hiking there um, so I dragged the kids out and we got hot and sweaty but then pretty much every day we went to the pool to enjoy pool time <laughs> yeah yeah sadly the pool closes at 4 30 middle too early. of the summer Georgia I guess it's a state park thing uh, who, who knows but pool closed at 4 30 yeah so get there early and do that yeah uh, so I finished up my sim training, uh, a few days of sims and everything. I'm fully qualified there again. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to go back to, to flying and uh, get fully checked back out in the airplane. Uh, while we finished up our time in Georgia, we went to go see my brother and his uh -huh. family and uh, got to see our niece that uh, we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, and they own a horse. So they we own got a horse, so we got to go to the stables and see some of their horse and a whole bunch of other ones, and that was fun. The kids loved that until the little miniature pony nipped it. Tony Lily. Bologna. Tony that Bologna, horse. man. That horse was used as a unicorn for birthday parties, yeah. but it wasn't very nice to Lily. No, <laughs> no, not that day. Maybe it was the like little sequin shirt or something. He just got overexcited. Yeah. But uh, but no, that was fun. It was it was always yeah. always good to see family. Uh, so now we continued on our way up from Georgia mm -hmm. and we are now in Ohio. We are mooch docking in the side yard of our friends. Yep. Uh, so a couple uh, travel days on the way up, we stayed in Boondocker's Welcome locations. Really pretty views. Where were we, in Kentucky? Once One thing was in Kentucky, mm -hmm. and the other was right here, just outside Cleveland, yep. in Litchfield. Uh, great, just kind of country views. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. So... Um, and along the way, we encountered a lot of crazy drivers. I don't know what guys, the thing was that guys, day. When you're driving around big trucks, whether it be an RV or a semi, don't be cutting them off. Don't be stopping short. Like, we need our distance. Yeah. So in Don't one, be like the guys in Columbus. This one incident, the two cars were obviously racing or road rage i'm not sure but yeah, one of the two but they were going uh, way too fast for the conditions and they totally cut us off like uh, when we say cut us off i mean he was in our lane before he fully cleared the nose of my truck yeah so that was really scary it could have been a really bad accident yeah. but thank god everything worked out fine <sighs> so was, anyway that was scary we did make it here yep. and um the place that we're staying has a very narrow tree line driveway that we had to navigate down. Um, we parked here last year, so we knew we could do it, but um, yep. took a little bit more trimming of trees and yep. we're parked in our spot and we're gonna be here in Cleveland for a few weeks. A few weeks and we're gonna just see a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to live here for 14 years, so we have a lot of connections love here. Love, love Cleveland, love, love Cleveland. Ohio. And uh, so we'll see a lot of friends, uh, we'll finish up a few little last minute renovation projects here mm -hmm. that are uh, just kind of totally hanging done. around and then so we'll do a tour and post fully it on done YouTube. we'll do a tour come to youtube and then we're going to go to a cleveland indians baseball game at mm -hmm. least once uh i'm a big tribe fan uh, eli loves baseball too eli loves baseball and i guess and i can't I'll really say that much longer i gotta go to one more indians game before they no longer exist. They will be the Guardians. The Cleveland Guardians. Mm -hmm. But there's some cool history behind that name. I'm okay with it, but I will definitely miss the Indians. Yeah. 
Uh, but until then, we'll keep you posted on the next week or so of what yeah. we're doing. And we're making plans for the next travels, so stay tuned. Where are we going? Who knows? Who knows? See you later. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Molly. And we're the Flying Heads. Oh, we do do we that, do that together. together. We do do that. We, we do, do do. That's yeah. right. Okay. Oh. Alright. We did that so perfectly that we don't have bloopers. That's really on our game. We're just like, too good. Too good. It's just because today, I'm just the bomb. You the bomb. I'm the bomb. You the bomb. Okay. Now there's there's openings in the sides right okay. here to work or close. No, what? no, no. So wait, wait, it's not like this. Oh, no. no. What if I need a lighter? Out. Thank you. Now, you can go in the sides and take your clothes off from there. I feel like this will give us... And like, yes, you can... I gotta tighten it. You gotta tighten this up around the side. There you go. Give yourself some modesty. Okay. I'm taking my clothes off on YouTube. Is that gonna get a lot of views? This is the shower toga and what it's all about. Look at this. Wait, never mind. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> well, we didn't work that one out there, did we? <laughs> I didn't think it <laughs> kind of hold that. There you go. Okay. It's okay, guys. To be fair, I didn't read the instruction manual at all. Okay, now what? See, there's an instruction manual. No, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> what if they open the door? Lock it. You're in a shower toga. You're not naked. Fine. This feels inappropriate. I'm just saying. Okay, wait. Okay. So what did I do wrong last time? And I'll slide it down. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> there we go, shower toga. And now, I still have my soap. So you can shower. It'd be great for boondocking. At the beach, if you needed At the beach. to change. Now you could actually put clothes on. Is this how the models do? Okay.